1994, in a radio station in Brisbane, a strange and terrifying thing began to happen. Female employees of the ABC studio, one by one, began to contract breast cancer. Over the next 12 years, until the station was abandoned in 2006, 10 women were diagnosed with breast cancer, almost one a year. Imagine being one of these women, going to work every day, wondering whether you would be next. The conclusions, of course, were obvious. Long has it been suspected that radio waves cause cancer. Now, finally, here was the proof. Except the scientists didn't want to jump to that conclusion. They explored every possibility but came up empty. They never found the answer. Why don't they admit that it's the radio waves? It's like looking at the Earth in space and maintaining that it's flat. Why are scientists engaged in a conspiracy to hide the true cause of breast cancer? Is it the patriarchy? No, it's a Texas cowboy. <laughs> Imagine a retired cowboy who has nothing to do every day but sit outside shooting at the side of his barn. He's not aiming anywhere in particular, but through pure random distribution, some of the bullet holes are closer together. In fact, there are three places where there appear to be a dozen holes bunched together quite closely. For a lark, the cowboy paints three targets over these areas. Suddenly, the bullet holes don't look quite so random anymore. Suddenly, their location seems profoundly meaningful. Your mind automatically ignores the fact that the rest of the barn is randomly littered with bullet holes and that half the bullets missed entirely and killed nearby cows. Picture this, you're flipping a coin. Because you have nothing better to do, you decide to flip it, say, 10 billion times. Over a long enough timeline of random combinations, there will probably come a day when you flip 240 heads in succession, one after the other. Head. 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 It will seem magical, but it will seem like divine intervention. You will drop to your knees and have a religious awakening. But this is to ignore the billions of other combinations that showed no pattern at all. Now picture this. There are probably about a billion officers in the world, each staffed by an untold number of employees. In tens of millions of these officers, one employee will eventually contract cancer. In millions of these, a second employee will contract cancer. In hundreds of thousands of these, a third employee. On a long enough timeline, you will discover a single office somewhere in Australia in which 10 employees get cancer. Keep in mind, there is no truly random event in the universe. Everything has a cause. Sometimes, 10 cancers in one office are caused by a sabotaged water cooler. But if there is a pattern, it is as likely to be caused by radio waves as it is for your boss's cologne. Your brain is broken. Don't fall victim to fallacy.